guys welcome back to my channel today i have for you my clearance haul for a dollar general that went on well that's going on from the 7th the 8th and the 9th so if you haven't gone yet that's fine the one store i went to today the second time i went had most of the stuff that i got here so it's really really not a big deal if you weren't there first thing in the morning but anyways I am so, so happy with how it all turned out. Um, but anyways, this is not exactly how I wanted to do my clearance video, but um, yeah, this is how it has to be this time around. But I am just so happy with how it went and I've seen so many pictures on how everybody is just making out like crazy with what they're getting and it's great. It's just so great. So anyways. Let's get to it. I guess we'll start from left to right. I have a paper here with all of my prices and what I use and everything like that. First, I do want to say to get this out of the way so I don't forget, these here are just some waste baskets. They were on clearance for $5.25, but they ring up $5. And so they just halved off those guys for $2.50 a piece. And I got three of them. When I did my video, for well when i took pictures for my video i got i seen these and i was like i have to get those because i definitely am in need of those so the first thing i got was the kotex and i got two things of tampons and two things of pads and i got those on each you know a different day just because the three off two coupon for the kotex is wonky so yeah let's just yeah I, if you know, if you have a store that is more coupon friendly, then I would use this coupon, but yeah. Oh, and that does expire today, so I guess not, but we always have problems with Kotex coupons, except at CVS, I don't have problems with them. So anyways, the Kotex pads were $3.60 a piece, and then half off of that was a dollar eighty seven. So for both of the Kotex pads they were three dollars and sixty cents and then the three off two coupon from the one five smart source made them at sixty cents for both of them or thirty cents a piece. And then I did the tampons. Now the tampons were more expensive. Um those were three thirty seven a piece after the discount and the half off. But then um I used a three off two tampon coupon also from the one five smart source. It made them $3.74 for both of them, which I don't think is that bad, or $1.87 a piece. So I really am happy with that price. So then next is the um, Thermacare. The Thermacare there is $4.50 on clearance. They rung up $2.25, and then we have a $3 off coupon that we just got last Sunday in the 2-2 Retail Me Not. So these guys here, these guys, each one that I got, and I got four of them, they gave 75 cents in overage. So that gave me $6 in overage right there. So that was awesome. Um, the one store, I only found one. The next store, I found six, but I gave my friend some of the coupons so she could get overage too. So yeah. Next, I got the secret. I got two different secrets. Now one store, I found one and it sounded almost empty. So I don't know, maybe shake them. I don't know, I hope people aren't going around and using the deodorant and then just, you know. But anyways, these were 450 in the clearance section. They rang up 225 and then I had a $2 off coupon from the February P&G and it's for the um, Secret Invisible Dry Spray. So it's $2 off for that, making them just a quarter which these are hard to get super cheap and these are hard to get super cheap. So I was fine with that. Next, I have the Axe. The Axe deodorant was $1.80 on clearance. It was normally $4 and then um, on clearance it was $1.87, $1.80, sorry. And then we had $1.50 off coupon from the 126 Retail Me Not. I just wanna make sure that's right. And so then that made these 30 cents each. And I think that's also a really good price for deodorant. So next is the Summer's Eve. And they had, um, the one store didn't have any. The next store had two of these and one of these, but I really wanted these guys here. 
So these were on clearance for two dollars and two cents. And so then there were four oh four for the both of them. And then I used a dollar fifty off two coupon from the one at twenty six smart source. So then that made it two fifty four for the both of them or dollar twenty seven a piece. And I was fine with that as well because I think these are a little more expensive. So, and I haven't tried these yet. I have tried the ones in the little pouches. So then the Lysol was a nice one too because we had a dollar off digital coupon that attached to this. So these rang up to um, $2.47 and then we had a dollar off coupon making them a dollar. 47 which these this is also hard to coupon for at a cheap price but it's only this kind that the dollar off coupon is attaching to and it is the garden after the rain scent so there is that next is the palmers now this guy was ringing up a dollar 35 i didn't have the paper coupon for this there was a three off of two paper coupon from the 112 smart source. I didn't have that for some reason. But anyways, um, if you were able to have get that coupon, then you could buy two of these and they would cost $2.70. Then that $3 off coupon would give you 30 cents of overage. I didn't have that, but I did use a dollar off digital coupon making this 35 cents and I wanted to give it a shot. So I didn't even know when I was shopping for it yesterday that there was a coupon for it. So I was like, whoo, 35 cents, I'll take it. Now this guy here, this guy here, it rung up for $1.57 and we had a dollar off digital coupon that I used for that. There's also a paper coupon for that from the 2-2 Retail Me Not. So next I'm gonna go over the makeup on the table just to kind of get that out of the way. But the makeup was, okay, so the eyeliner here, this is the CoverGirl eyeliner. Uh, this was on clearance for $202, and we had a $3 off coupon from the 126 Smart Source. And so that gave me 78 cents of overage for each one of these. So I was very happy with that. And these are going to get donated um, because I, I don't use them, but I will buy them for the overage. Same thing with these here. This is some concealer. Now these rung up to 70. And so I used a $3 off face coupon, also from the 126 Smart Source. So then that gave me a 30 cents of overage on each one. Now this is pretty much the same thing. It is a concealer cover stick from Maybelline. Now this guy was ringing up 225. And I had a, sorry for the lighting guys, I had a $3 off coupon from the, also the 126 Retail Me Not. And um, I did follow the limits on all of these coupons because there's only a limit of one um, for the Maybelline facial product coupons for Maybelline coupons, period. So I got one yesterday and then I got another one today and these will also be donated. Next, I got this Peacock Flare Mascara to try out. So this was on clearance for $3.60. I think it was originally $7. But um, then there was a $3 off eye product coupon that applied to this. And it was um, only $0.60. Cents. Now this here, they're all the same lipstick. I think they're different shades. Um, yeah. These are all different shades, but they did give them to me for this price here, the $3.75, so half off of that. So these were all $1.87, and we do have a $2 off lip coupons from the 126 Smart Source. So it was just a little bit of overage, but yeah, I didn't even say anything to them about it. I didn't even notice that they were different. I just thought they were all $3.75. Um, so yeah, then that gave me a little bit of overage with these. Um, we have not been getting $3 off lip coupons. So I know one clearance sale, I got a ton of these guys here because I was getting over a dollar of overage for each one. But anyways, that's totally fine there. Next is the speed stick. And the speed stick is a double pack. And they were marked $3.47, but they were ringing up $1.73. We did have 50 cents off coupons from the 119 Smart Source. And those rang up totally fine with this. I thought they wouldn't um, because it's a double pack, but then it did. So then that made it $1.23 for two deodorants. 
or 62 cents a piece. And I think that's a pretty good deal. And yeah. So then the next thing I got was this gum enamel toothpaste. So this, pro this gave me an issue. It rung up $7, but I got it yesterday. So when I went up to the counter, I said that this was the only one that I scanned that was giving me a problem. Um, it didn't ring up. It still was ringing up $7. So she gave it to me for $3.50. She hit the markdown cart button. So if they are ever having trouble with marking something down, they just need to hit the markdown cart button. And it will automatically do, you know, mark it down half off. So then I had a $3 off coupon for things like this from the February PNG, and that made this only 50 cents. And this type of toothpaste that's good for like your gums and stuff like that and the sensitive things, um, my boyfriend really appreciates. So I try to get them whenever I can. So yes, 50 cents is a lot for what we say not to pay for toothpaste, but when it's the more premium kind, anything under a dollar is a good price. Next, I got these guys here. I got three of them. I got one yesterday for $1.12, um, and I didn't realize I had dial coupons for these. I know that I had um, the dollar off one, and I'm like, oh, well, those aren't the six pack. I'm just gonna get it anyways, because it's $1.12. Um, but then I remembered that I did have them for the next time. So these are for two of them, they are 224. And then it is a dollar off two from the two two retail me not for this guy here, in case you forgot, cause I did forget. And so then it's a dollar 24 for both of them or 62 cents for each pack. And usually you get bar soap in like a six pack. So I think, uh, dollar twenty-four for like a six-pack is a great price, and this is actually really nice to wash your face with. So, pro tip. Next is the Airwick, and whoo, I was so happy with this overage. So this is marked funky. You'll see a price that'll say three, and then it'll m be missing something, and then it'll say two. Usually that means three o two. So this rang up for three o, or it was marked three o two, but it rang up a dollar fifty-one. And then I had a three dollar off digital coupon that made this free, plus a dollar and forty nine cents of overage. I think that's right. No, it says dollar fifty one of overage, but yeah, it gave me at least a dollar fifty in overage. So I'll take that all day long. Next were these guys here. Now I got four of them, and. I know some people were having problems with handing over that $5.50 off two printable coupon because it's a high value coupon. It's a printable coupon. Both stores I went to did not have a problem scanning them with this. So anyways, these rang up $1.87 a piece. And so that meant that um, I used that $5.50 off two internet printable and it made them free plus a dollar and 76 cents of overage. And I did that twice, one yesterday and one today. Just got a few more items, guys. Next, I got this deodorant here. I got four of them. This is like the one deodorant that I've been using for years and have hardly been able to coupon since I've been couponing. So anyways, these were marked 4.36. I I think they were normally $4.85 in the store, which actually is like the cheapest I've ever found it. Um, I think that's even cheaper than Walmart. But anyways, they rang up $2.18, and then we had $1.50 off one coupon from the $1.26 Retail Me Not, making these guys $0.68 cents a piece, and I got four of them. Then these guys here, um, these guys here were ringing up $2.81, and then we had a $3 off coupon from the 119 Smart Source that does expire today on the 8th. And so that makes them free and a 19 cent money maker or 19 cents of overage, which there's only two in here, but hey, it's a five blade razor. That's a very nice razor for a guy and a girl. Then I got this here. And the coupon for this also gave me trouble. Uh, this is the 32 ounce with a pump on it. These were normally like $4. 
they rang up a dollar eighty, and we had a dollar fifty off coupon. And so that made this guy only thirty cents, and I think that's great. It's a two in one. Um, I don't know. I've bought this before, but I I don't think my boyfriend used them. I think I ended up selling them. But anyways, um, thirty cents for this? Yes, please. And now another thing that I got that I probably didn't need to get that was actually a little more than I wanted to spend, but I did want to get these were these packs of paper plates. And these are on clearance for four ninety five. They're normally I think they're like five dollars. Um, but they were on clearance for $4.95. They rang up $2.47 a piece, but they have 86 plates in them. And I think I get like the 20 count pack or the 26 count pack at Walgreens for $3.99. They're buy one, get one free. So then I get $2.99 for like 40 some plates. But these were um, $4.94 for the both of them. And then I used a dollar off two coupon from the $1.19 Retail Me Not. Um, and so that made these both $3.94 or $1.97 a piece. So it's about what I pay at Walgreens for them. So for whatever reason, I didn't film a little ending bit thingy, so I'm really happy with how the sale went. I spent about $13 altogether, and yeah, this was one of the best clearance sales I've had in a really, really long time, guys. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.